Welcome to Hard Cam Wrestling Podcast, where falls count anywhere. There are no disqualifications and a two-hour time limit. Introducing the participants, the opinionated one, Ryan Sangster, the 18-year-old piece of gold, Joseph Parr, the real deal, the anti-miz, Ryan Palmer, king of strong style chat, Nick the Twin Towers, and the real franchise, James Richards. This is this is the Hard Camp Wrestling Podcast uh, with me, Ryan Palmer, uh, other Ryan, Ryan Sangs to say hello. What's happening? We have Joseph Parr, say hello. Hello. And James Richards, say hello. Yo. No, Nick. Nick is absent today. Dead. Oh. <laughs> this <laughs> is... That's shocking, that. This is uh, <laughs> our, our last... Is it our last show before Christmas? Or one of the, the last shows before Christmas? Uh, we've got TRC uh, reviews. Okay, yeah. That's it's still a great review, isn't it? It's, it's our last... Well, that'll yeah, be on Christmas Eve, so I don't know whether anyone's doing that. <laughs> our last <laughs> Sunday show. Yeah. yeah. And it is a of the year show of 2020 uh, list show um, taken from the poll from the wrestling group Facebook group uh, that has been running over the last few weeks so if uh, Sangster do you want to start off yeah so basically we've done 15 questions um, of the best and worst of 2020 for wrestling so obviously I've put these polls up on the wrestling group, um, which obviously you guys are a part of, and you know we've got a big phone at the moment. So we've had um, good interaction on these polls, a good bit of debating, but we thought we'd run through the winners and runners up from the wrestling group, and then each of you lads are then going to pick your winners as well. Should we have something to talk about today? So we'll start with number fifteen. Go down to one. So number 15 is the documentary of the year. So on the wrestling group, we had the winner was the Benoit episode of the um, Dark Side of the Ring. And the runner up was the Last Ride series, which was obviously The Undertaker from WWE Network. I, I myself, have gone with the uh, W. A 24 documentary on Edge. Yeah, a lot of people yeah. did that. I did. I really, I just really enjoyed that. My biggest takeaway from it, though, is how nice the house Edge has. <laughs> That's what I took away from it. <laughs> was that the one that it was the build up to his return at the Rumble? Yeah. Yeah, boss. I went with the Ben Wyatt episode from Dark Side of the Ring. Why? Morbid a, curiosity. No, that was a really good episode, and they showed. Um, David Benmar, is it David? Yeah, but yeah. yeah. and uh, he was really, really, he was genuine and he was really emotional and he spoke about how no one has uh, reached out to him yeah. uh, from WWE and the, the only person that has was, was Jericho and he seems to try to want to build some sort of bridge but it's not going to happen. It, you can just, uh, he wants to get involved in the industry somehow, but... Yeah, the, the problem I feel with David Benoit is he wants to wrestle as David Yeah. yeah. I the feel like a lot of people won't take him because of the Benoit name. Yeah, I don't even... And he looks the dead spit of his dad as well, so yeah. it's like, oh. fuck. Yeah. Unless, he, unless he wrestles under a mask, it's just... Yeah, yeah and then calls himself David true. Benoit. <laughs> Call himself Satan Mouse as well. Obviously. David Benoit uh, Mysterio. <laughs> junior, junior, junior. Who did you go for, James? I went for so for the Chris Benoit Dark Side of the Ring episode. It was any particular reason? Like, is it a difference from Palmer or? Yeah, it's like it's sort of so like ha- mentally how Benoit sort of lost it after the pass and ready to Guerrero, which was so heartbreaking when he spoke about Eddie. Mm. There's yes. one thing, as a wrestling fan, who obviously I saw watched 2008, I wish I saw Eddie Guerrero. What, live, you mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. I'd watch him each and every week. 
Unlike Me too. Poor SmackDown. Mean, seeing them on, on TV was super, but seeing them live would have just been amazing, mm. wouldn't it? One thing, we, uh, go one on. thing I also agree with Bray. I'm surprised the Owen Hart one didn't get higher. That was awful to watch, that was. Yeah, that was, was so interesting as well at the same time. Tell think, you what, that, that clip that they showed, you know, the, the actual clip that they hung him from, that yeah. was fucking mm. horrendous. Yeah, it is. You know what I mean? I wouldn't I wouldn't even fucking dan- dangle a teddy bear off that, let alone a fucking human being. That was fucking shocking. And when she turned around and said that there was actual active members of the Hart family that were coming and stealing documentation. So when she was suing Vince McMahon, there wasn't yeah. any proof. That was horrendous. Yeah. It didn't mm. seem like a real life thing. No, nah, that hit me hard. That would have hit me harder than the day than the Chris Benoit one that did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm going to read out Nick's one here, just because yeah. R.I.P. Nick, but we managed to get his picks before we died. <laughs> uh, he went for he went for Dark Side of the Ring, non-specifically, but he just wanted to go with Dark Side of the Ring. To be fair, all of them are great. Yeah, there, there's, yeah. there's... Do you know what? I didn't bother with the first series, because to be honest with you, I didn't really know that much about it. I feel like when they done the Benoit one, it yeah. Blew. When they announced the Benoit one, it blew up, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I watched, I watched Benoit, I watched Owen Hart, and I want to say the Road Warriors as well. But like, it's, I've listened to the podcast. I think it might have been JR's, maybe Jericho's. Can't remember. But obviously, where the lads that ran Dark Side of the Ring were talking about like the ins and outs and stuff, and you know, it's just it's <laughs> superb, like what they've done. <clears throat> really, I feel like series one did cover like the Montreal screw job. Yeah, which to be fair it is just an hour of Cornet and Russo giving shit to each other. I don't know if it was a work <laughs> or a shoot. <laughs> no, if it was Scott Hall came comes up and goes, "Oh, it was a shoot." <laughs> no, it was a work. So, <laughs> I was like, hell. But yeah, I've got, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the next seasons. I, yeah. think, I know there's two announced so far: it's Jake the Snake, yeah, Ooh. and Brian Pillman. Oh, Brian Pillman would be really interesting. Be yeah, interesting to see get you. Yeah. Know. They probably but, will. I tell you what, like you know, the documentaries that WE have been rolling out. I know yeah. WWE can slander, but the the documentaries they've been rolling out have been superb. Like the, better than Raw. Got to give a mention to the last ride episodes. They yeah. the Undertaker. Fantastic. Ruthless aggression was absolutely ridiculously good. Like I couldn't wait to. Like the next week to get the next episode, like the ruthless aggression era. I know a lot of people love the attitude era, but ruthless aggression for me was better. <clears throat> As one twenty-four of that sticks out to me most was the Hardy Boys one from last year. Well, that twenty nineteen, James. Huh? That's twenty nineteen. We're talking about twenty twenty. I'm, I'm talking sure about WWE documentaries. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your fucking head out, lad. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, mate. <laughs> Right, so should we move on to number 14? So we we've got number do. 14 is worst pay-per-view of the year. Now, we only realised after we'd done and finished the 15 that we've done worst pay-per-view of the year, but we haven't done best pay-per-view of the year. So what I might do Shoddy. is give you the answers for the wrestling group for worst pay-per-view of the year, and then if you yourselves want to give us your winner. What do you yeah. think? Hmm... I think we've lost Sanctuary for a second. Let's carry on without yeah. him. Um, so the worst pay per view of the year, I know for a fact that it was won by Super Showdown, wasn't it? It certainly yeah. was. <laughs> that that shot you stormed it. Yeah, yeah it worst pay per view of the year, I think, was about 22 votes clear. <laughs> 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 um, and the runner up was Money in the Bank. Yeah, I think that got about two votes because I think everyone else went to Super Showdown. Um, you know, you got the Super Showdown, you had fucking Goldberg versus the Fiends, you had Lesnar squashing Ricochet, you had Taker not even bothering to take his ring gear off and Tombstone. <laughs> <the game stands. laughs> then you had obviously the money in the bank was that shocking decision to run up and down the fucking building and throw no, people off. Right, that wasn't what? a terrible decision if they did it right. Yeah, that could have been the best money in the bank. The best money in the bank match if they'd have actually just let him do something interesting rather than a fucking food fight. Some it's bits were the, quite funny. The best, lie. best part about it, let's be honest, was Stars and Brian going into the Inter's <laughs> That was brilliant. I thought the best part was when it ended. <laughs> when it ended. Well, actually, no, because then Otis won. <laughs> 
I do you know what? I didn't watch that pay per view. Never bother with it, and I haven't bothered with much of WWE this year. I did Fair. watch Super Show. I can't Drew fucking Warren's was good. Why. Which Drew what Drew and Warren's right. mind back was good. Oh, was it? Yeah. So give good, you, but... everyone run through with your worst pay per view of the year, and then your best pay per view. I of went the Super years. Showdown for I went Super Showdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went Super Showdown as well. Oh, that was fucking easy. <laughs> right, my best, I'll go double or nothing 2020. Right, or okay. Revolution. I'll go double or nothing though, because that's what I said first. Well, me, I went for Slammiversary. Surprisingly. Oh, yes. Hey, Impact is shit. Slammiversary. AEW shit. Retain of um, EY and, uh, yeah. and yeah. you know, yes. that. Yeah, that was a boss pay per view. Was it TNA have done impact? Even I have done some decent pay per views. Yeah, Slam Anniversary was a bosh. Yeah. Do you know what? That was the only one I watched live this year from Impact. But I tell you what, it was fucking superb. And I did actually sign up to Impact Plus for about three weeks before I decided it was shit. <laughs> Probably... I signed up for Impact Plus thinking you get all the pay per views and I cancelled it. <laughs> I thought you did. No, yeah. no Slam Anniversary wasn't. All right. Okay. Um, so yeah. I've... Think Mars played Revolution. Do you know what? I I didn't obviously. I've I've not been doing the votes on that because um, it couldn't be asked looking back through. But obviously, the best pay per view of the year for me, and it will probably be each and every year, has got to be Wrestle Kingdom. Mm, yeah. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. You forget oh, about Wrestle Kingdom, don't you? It's just January. Yeah. Fuck it off every year and I watch it live and, and you know what, I just eat it up. I think it's superb from beginning to end. Mm. Um, so Wrestle Kingdom for me, definitely, 100%. Especially, you know, Speaking Naito. Kingdom. At the end. Speaking of Wrestle Kingdom, make sure you watch our review of Wrestle Kingdom. Yes, I'm looking forward to this Wrestle Kingdom yeah, so much. I've been looking forward to this for about oh, six months now. <laughs> and literally, on the second night, when we do because we're going to do two reviews aren't we I believe mm-hmm. one on the first yep. one on the, second, on the second night all you're literally going to hear me do is fume at why Jay White is not the fucking <laughs> double champ <laughs> <laughs> I will literally just spend a fucking hour and a half going Jay White should be the champion he will it's going to be very <laughs> enjoyable I think um, it's Kota Bushi personally uh, yeah, I'd love Jay White to win it, but it's got to be Kota because the reason why I didn't put the belt on him last year was because he didn't have an exclusive contract with New Japan, which we now know he has. So yeah, that's that. Let's move on to the next award. Okay, number 13 was Commentator of the Year. So on the wrestling group, we had the winner as Wade Barrett. That from shocked me, that did. Commentary in NWA, followed by his commentary in NXT. And the runner-up was Tony Schiavone from eight. Really? <coughs> yeah. Tony <laughs> Schiavone over Excalibur. Why so surprised? Oh, Excalibur's think, better than Tony Schiavone. I think At Tony's been actually been brilliant this year. To, Tony's been awesome. Excalibur's just been the other guy for me for eight. I think it's, yeah, well. but without Excalibur, imagine if it was just Jim Ross and Tony Schiavone on that team. It would yeah, be shit. It would be terrible. Excalibur is the only one who knows what's going on. <laughs> yeah, <face> yeah. <laughs> Which is why he is my commentator of the year. Segue. Excalibur. Yeah. I don't get me wrong. Tony, recently as well, Tony has been incredible. Really, really good. Yeah. I think, I think with commentators, I think a lot of people, a lot of people voted for personalities as well. Yeah. I think they went. Yeah. I think I think a commentary award favors a color commentator over a play by play. Yeah, possibly. Although the other year, um, I don't think was, I can't remember if it was last year, or the the year before on the wrestling group, um, Mauro Ronaldo won it. Of course he did, though. But yeah. that's different, and he's both at the same time. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got the sound bites as well as knowing what's going on. Mamma ah. I miss Mauro. Mamma mia. Who did you go for? <clears throat> Wait, who? Sorry? James, go on, you say. Oh, uh, I've gone Tony Schiavone. It's Sting! <laughs> One of my favourite calls this year. It's Sting! Palmer, you keep doing I this went... for half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I went for Excalibur. You yeah, we got Palmer. 
So it's literally a toss up between AEW commentators, then, isn't it? And yeah. I see only one person voted for Josh, Josh Matthews. I'm not sure why. Shit, hell. Who voted for him? <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Pickup, I believe. <laughs> Shit. To be, oh, fair, to be fair to him, I think he literally just felt because he's an impact guy and because Matthews is impact. <laughs> I'm he's a fucking like, impact at least guy. Over Don Callis. He seriously <laughs> cannot believe Josh Matthews has been <clears throat> commentator of 2020 or any fucking year to but <laughs> I mean, Carl, if you haven't he's the second picked... best commentator in impact. <laughs> yeah. Let alone well, Matt, Manson Reigns is the best commentator then. Can, right, you Don Callis. <laughs> Can you leave us a comment and tell us why you actually voted for Josh Matthews? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it just because he's impact? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nick good. Towers, Nick the Twin Towers, has gone what? for Samoa Joe or me. I can't tell. He's written Joe, so it could be me. <laughs> but but I'm assuming it's Samoa well. Joe. I'll tell you it. what, did you actually read out Nick's worst pay per view? He didn't leave one, so that's why I left it. Ah, right. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so Super But I'm show assuming it's Super Show, super show <laughs> now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest. What other contender is there? Do you know what? As as much as I enjoyed the Goldberg documentary recently, you know, DDP was like, oh, you're so good, you're still, you're still the champion, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, but DDP, did you want him to beat the team? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so we'll move on to number 12, which is an interesting one. Which is a disgrace, I... is what it is, Ryan. It's, it's a disgrace. A... I can't remember. It's an absolute it's... disgrace. But it, it's one option i always like to put in because obviously the the wrestling group did originate from obviously the uk did originate from britain so i love putting this <clears> britannia and um, so number 12 is the british wrestler of the year and we've got the winner surprise surprise is drew mcintyre obviously because <sighs> 70% of the group watch wwe and wwe only yeah. <laughs> is will osprey because you know the small he's the best wrestler in the world who actually watch wrestling yeah <laughs> Know how talented he is. So it, the, it was the fact that he absolutely stormed it, didn't he? Do you have the actual votes on you? I'm not I'll be at the moment, but as you talk about yourselves, I'll be able to find it. time, I can get it. Such a smirky attitude, it's ridiculous. Such a smirk. I can't believe Drew McIntyre, as good as he's been, he's not good as Will Ospreay, is he? He's not, but fuck's sake. It, but it, to be fair. He, He's more showcase. He's more in the, the mainstream than he is on the, than so? Will is. So he obviously so Otis doesn't get... mean Otis is better. To be fair, Drew has oh, been is English, though, more is British. British. Yeah, but I'm yeah, saying Drew... you, your point was he's more mainstream. I'm saying Otis is more mainstream than Will Ospreay. Doesn't make Otis better than Will Ospreay. <laughs> no, but I, I don't think that holds. It up. was forty votes to five. <laughs> <laughs> Eat a dick. Fair. I think <laughs> Cal and Noir got right as well. That is the biggest disgrace I've I mean, seen so far. Maybe Chile, Chile, the, the same time as you. <laughs> was Nick Aldis on there at all? Probably. Probably. He, he yeah, didn't Nick get a fucking was... vote. Nick Aldis, Nick Aldis didn't get a vote. That's that. That's that's the tragedy. That's a that's is it? tragedy. Yes, it is. The, the problem. The problem with Nick Aldis is he's on NWA, he's and gone. when they went to when they went to weekly, like everyone watched it for the first four or five weeks, and then sacked it off, myself yes. included. You know what I mean? You know, NWA was good as oh yeah, it's got a retro vibe and that, but after like a month, it was like all right, this is shit now. Uh. Nick Towers also went for Drew McIntyre, so... Yeah, wipe your tears, Joe. <laughs> yeah, but me and Sanks know who the real winner is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <clears throat> one of the lads, I think it was Graham Fisher, actually on the wrestling group, turned around and said, you know what, um, as, as talented Dosprey is in the ring, you know, since his, obviously his new storylines come with the Empire and obviously build himself as a top heel, he said 2021 is Osprey's year. Oh, without a doubt. So... I mean, I can't see WE continuing with Drew next year, so it will be interesting to see. Um, do you know, the the one that is shocking, that has had an absolute shocking year for me, it's British, who's 2020, is Marty Scale. He just seems to go mm. off the fucking oil. You know, yeah, he, sounded, he wasn't speaking out of I think. Yeah. 
he done the yeah, but a show of a few of them that have been mentioned. But you yeah, know, yeah. Mars the new contract with Ringo Honor, which he allowed him to on NWA. And as you say, he was the booker, but he was allowed to appear on NWA and had the yeah. tag match with Nick Aldish. But then just fucking disappeared. Yeah. Who was the idiot who said um, Osprey was boring? Who the fuck oh, yeah, was hang that? On. <laughs> that's a good. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah, you had an <laughs> argument with him, didn't you? I did. I had a full on argument. I was fuming. I was absolutely furious. Hang on. No, what the fuck? You've never watched New Japan. <laughs> <laughs> um, just keep filling for time. Yeah, but you know what though? I mean, it's not just New Japan because he was in ICPW, I believe, and he was bossing that and Rev Pro as well. He was bossing that. So I mean. A lot of people slander this match, but one of my favourite matches of Osprey's was his match against Ricochet. You know, the one that was classed as the gymnastics match. Mm-hmm. I thought that was superb. Oh, yeah. There's literally nothing wrong with that match ah, at all. I can't find it. Keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Kiefer Zeus knows who I've had many an argument with so far. <laughs> I'll admit I don't watch New Japan I just don't like the style I've tried watching a few matches and the two matches I've seen of Osprey he bores me glad when Vader downed him over here fuck off right. oh, <laughs> worst match of the year now the winner on the wrestling group was obviously The Fiend versus Goldberg which again stormed it and the runner up was the swamp match between Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman which I'd have to admit to you now I've not seen don't miss much. No. There's a call running around the field, field fighting people. And he gets drowned. Yeah. Braun gets drowned. What the fuck? Can someone tell me why he wasn't the fiend in this match and why he was Bray Wyatt? Uh, he was he, old Bray Wyatt for yes. one. Literally yeah. just talking for most of it. He sat in a room with some fairy lights and spoke to him for a good 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. Braun was literally tied up on a chair. Yeah. And Bray Wyatt spoke to him for 10 minutes with some fairy lights. <laughs> to be fair, though, to be fair, I like what they tried to do, having like the three, the three faces of Bray Wyatt. You got Swamp Bray Wyatt, cult leader, whatever. Then you got yeah. TV show, kid, TV kids presenter show Bray Wyatt. Then you got The Fiend. Yeah. I like the dynamic of that. Should he use the three? Yeah, it's like for every now and then he might bring up Swamp Bray no, Wyatt. In that, in that match, did he use all three? Or was it just the no, one? Yeah. They brought well, The Fiend out came at the end, but. The fiend, don't, the fiend was the only person who really touched Braun, <laughs> mm. but the other two spoke for a bit. So, so fiend versus Goldberg is that everyone's vote or is it? Yeah, no, it's not mine. Oh. Go on, go on, Ryan, you go first. Uh, Sammy versus Matt. Uh, Matt can cast himself. So the only is, thing about this, I, I don't class it as a match because of what happened. I don't think you can call. Oh, I, it, I know it is a match, but. At the end of the day, it didn't end. And what happened is a freak injury, so I don't know whether you can call it. Oh, well, it there was a three count it in it, and the bell rang, so it was a match. It did end. It yeah. defo ended. Do you I know, it? But it just shouldn't have fucking continued. It should have that... got stopped uh, after he hit his head on the floor, and that was that. But it, it, they didn't stop it, and they carried on to an actual finish. I could watch the rest of all out after that. I tried to watch all out live, but after that, I was couldn't watch the rest of it. I like, put a really maybe it just me. Maybe I just don't have any feelings. But I, I didn't bother me for the rest of the show. I was fine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, but to be fair, can you can you say like a match right with a botch in it, which causes a, a makeshift finish, if you like? Is that worse than a match that goes all the way through the way it's supposed to, yeah. and it's just fucking shit? No, but like my match, which is Penelope Ford, Britt Baker, and whatever it what is it, Reba Rebel, whatever, versus Big Swole. It was so bad. You can't even remember one of the performers. I don't know. I don't know it was what a dentist chair. I don't know what her gimmick name is. It's either Rebel or Reba. Yeah, that's that's the joke. Yeah, I know. Reba, Reba. I don't know which ones are actual like which ones are actual name then. Rebel. <laughs> She was rebel okay. in TNA. And then Brick uh, calls a Reba. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, that match was shit. It wasn't very good. It was, it was right up there with awful. the dentist match. I thought that it was, was also awful. Oh, no, this was, that, this was an actual handicap match in the ring. Shit, I don't even remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Figures. No, do you know what? I don't remember it. I remember I the don't. dentist match. It figures me. 
<laughs> so it was actually so awful. three out of four of us can't remember. So maybe it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm fairly sure Big Swell won. Oh God! Oh yeah, yeah. I re- I actually do remember it. Yes. Um, From now on, I don't think Big Swell did win it. Right. Uh, okay, I, it was a mess. It was a mess, and it was in the ring. It was a um. It wasn't a. It was a dynamite episode, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. God, imagine if it was on page with you. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> I'm on cage match right now. I do remember this match. The, the, Nick the memories of it are bringing. Uh, coming. Went back. for the swamp match as well. <laughs> oh. I won his pit. Finn Goldberg. He Man. did. Yeah. I'm the only one who said Finn Goldberg. What, what would you go with, Sangster? For which, sorry? Worst match. Big Swole did win. Oh, yeah, shit. In Fiend two Fiend minutes and 50 Fiend seconds. 30 Fiend minutes. Goldberg. Fiend Goldberg. Yeah, the reason why is, like, the Fiend was on top of his fucking game. He was, like, the shit. Like, all the kids loved him, all the adults loved him. He was something new, something different in WE. And then they decided to start, like, PGing him a bit. Um, yeah. And then, all of a sudden... He's like three spears later and a fucking jackhammer and he's lost. He's lost the fucking... It, it wasn't even a jackhammer, it's more of a suplex. Yeah, I mean, like, I love Goldberg. I'm a massive Goldberg, Mark. I loved him back in WCW. I even loved his return back in 2003. I even loved his return where he squashed Brock Lesnar. I love that. At the end of the fucking day... The Fiend has been something new, something WWE has needed for a fucking long Ooh, there goes Sangster. Oh. <laughs> the Fiend's cursed him. <laughs> oh, no. So, basically, uh, in conclusion, it was a bad match. Bad. Yeah. Yeah, it was a shitty match. Fucking hell. Um, what's the next category? The next category is Rivalry of the Year. Oh, man. I didn't put anything for that. Fuck. Because it was, uh, for me, it was like, oh, actually, what, what was the Facebook? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Discuss your ones, and uh, on the fly, uh, I will go on Facebook. I'll go. Am with... I still here? There you back. go. He's back. He's Sorry, he's back. Trying to call me. Call. Than ever. <laughs> call me. I'm fucking off the call for some reason. <laughs> Thanks, the... We've we've moved on. What so, is the rivalry of the year? Yeah. So the winner for rivalry of the year on the Facebook group was Reigns versus Uso and the runner up was Jay White versus Ibushi Ooh, interesting uh, Reigns versus Uso still hasn't finished though so well I think it's going to be yes it has yeah because yeah, so, yeah, it's going to they're going to stay as a stable for a while now I think <clears throat> I guess he hasn't finished he hasn't kind of finished teaching him a lesson He's gonna keep. It's still, it's still part of the same storyline. Yeah, is what I'm. Is what I, my point. <clears throat> I went with Mox versus Kingston. <clears throat> Why? Because it was just amazing, wasn't it? Why? Why? <laughs> great Kingston. promos, great build up. In very, it felt it felt almost real in certain points, and the match was good at the end. No. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Did you just say that to piss off? Thanks, though. No, I actually do like it. That's, that's actually what I went for. Fair enough. Mine was Banks and Bailey. Yeah, that would have been that would have been a close second if I actually cared about WWE. <laughs> I just, just, just literally this feud's built up since like since Bailey's been on the main roster, really. Yeah, they've sort of been building, teasing, building, teasing, and then yeah. we finally got it this year. Would have been better if it was at Boston in front of a live crowd at SummerSlam. But hey, COVID happened, so nothing we can do about that. But I thought what we got at the end of it was really good. Just the layers they had from WrestleMania. Which was the match that ended it? Like Hell in the Cell, wasn't it? Hell in the Cell. They had that, a rematch yeah. on SmackDown. That was that was brilliant. That, match, that Hell in the Cell match was fantastic. The only thing that went wrong was those kendo sticks. Mm. Do you know what? I'm not a fan of Sasha Banks, but that fucking hell in the cell was superb. Sasha Banks would kill herself if it, if it would make the match better. 
Yeah, she will. I'm just not a fan of her. I, I just I can't take to her. Like I don't know why. It just I, I think, I think I like, she's better than Becky Lynch. She was better in NXT. She was the heel. Yeah, she was the heel, and she be she was herself as a heel. Now I that little bitch Izzy he crying? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate her, man. Uh, that was hilarious. Well, you podcast, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Joe. <laughs> well, <laughs> Joe, you pretty much fucking slander any fan of wrestling going. <laughs> she's just, she just tries to be too involved, isn't it? Well, she's, she's, she, she is. She's a manager now, or something. Oh, look at me! I'm crying because Bailey lost. Grow up! It's not real. <laughs> Well, we definitely lost the podcast guest now. Uh, what was Nick's? Um, Nick's fuck's sake. Um, did we? Did you? Uh, 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 yeah. Oh, Nick's was Reigns versus Uso. Uh. So move on, Sangster. Actually, didn't get mine. Mine was. Uh, oh, shit. mine was mine was Mox versus. Uh, Kingston as well. Thank so. you. Did he try and miss you off then? I, th- I thought you'd said it, which is why someone asked me about Nick's one. But yeah, uh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, Go. number nine, we have Shambles. This is most misused male, and the Ooh. winner was Ricochet, and the runner-up was uh, that's who I put. Alistair Black. So let's let's be honest. Can you can't really disagree with no. either of them? They have no. both massively, massively misunderused since they both tag team together for three tag team belts of the NXT, the Raw, and the SmackDown, and didn't win a single fucking one. And then they disabandoned and done fuck all with either. Has anyone got anything different? Yep. Uh, well, yes, but that's because I couldn't remember what I voted for, so I just put Buddy Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, How is he underused? Yeah, he was because he's not the world champion. He's been on TV all year. He's not the world champion, though. Fucking TV. Uh, uh, it, I know because I couldn't remember, but Ricochet is my actual answer. <laughs> yeah, I've got Ricochet Nick put well. something different. Nick what went for Keith Lee. <laughs> That's not a bad shout. Which I think, if Keith Lee was on the main roster for the whole year, then yes. Yeah, he was in a. Oh. He was the. Du- he's been the double champion this year, so I can't say he's been misused. Yeah. No. Most misused, but he has been definitely misused since he came up to the ro- main roster. I went for EC3. Was he even in? Uh, it's the same with. It's the same situation with Keith Lee, though, isn't it? Like they, they didn't use him. He didn't. Yeah, but he's only. He was only there for like three months, wasn't he? Because they didn't bother using him. Yeah, and then he got released, and now he's doing shit again. <laughs> it's yeah, but... like two matches or something. <laughs> they took we took the belts off Keith Lee because they wanted to push him as a main star on the main roster. Now you got to send him down to the performance center <laughs> to work like a big man. Like, what <laughs> the fuck? What's the idea there? Like, apparently Vince wait for him to come out and start doing Baldo bomb. <laughs> <laughs> that's it well, pa- Vince pa- just pa- wants Vince. it to work like a big man instead he's, of doing he's just teaching how to do flips. his joke slam that's what it is yeah, that's it he, yeah. he wants he wants uh, Lee to be the big show mm-hmm. yeah, he's going to do a choke slam and he's going to do a shot <laughs> that's not what got him over on the indies um, and he's going to do a sent on oh, oh well that's it you bring him up from NXT and apparently like Vince looked back and watched his, his NXT championship win and, and stuff like that and apparently Vince was pulling his fucking end off. So why <laughs> did you then bring him up to the main roster and do fuck all with him? Because that's Vince McMahon. Yeah, he's just, it's all bullshit. It was all show. Yeah. yeah. It's just... It's all show to get people to watch. Yeah. Oh, Vince McMahon loves Keith Lee. Oh, I might tune into Rolling and have a look at Keith Lee. Keith Lee proceeds to do fuck it all. Loses to Miz and Morrison. Is everyone Probably on the... Said, to be fair, the Miz is great. <laughs> <laughs> Has everyone oh, on the misused mail then, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Yep. Cool. 
most misused female was number eight, and we had the winner as uh, Shayna Baszler. Obviously, she had the big buzz around the going into WrestleMania. You know, she Being a vampire. Had, I think she tapped out every single member in the Elimination Chamber. <laughs> yes, she did. Mm-hmm. Uh, went on to WrestleMania, lost to Becky Lynch, who was pregnant at the time, who then gave the belt. I think she was pregnant then, was she? She was yeah. pre- pregnant then, but she didn't know. Yeah. Mm. But still, she gave the belt to fucking Ashka instead of losing it to Baszler like we all thought she should have. And mm-hmm. the runner-up was Rhea Ripley, who was NXT yep. Women's Champion, I believe, a year and go yesterday. Blimey. Steep decline. Fucking hell. Anyone when she needs... lost it to... Uh, no, I went for Shayna. I went for Shayna. I was just because I really wanted to see that vampire gimmick, basically. <laughs> I was just really looking forward to that. Why was, was it, that vampire was it, gimmick? Wasn't the Rumble this year as well, where she eliminated eight people or something? Yeah, so did Bianca Fuck. Belair, I think. Yeah, so her and Bianca Belair just eliminated near enough everyone. Eliminated mm. half the whole Shh. thing. Yeah. She's talented, that's the answer. She's not ready yet, then. No, she might not be, but I don't think she gets as much praise as she deserves. No, she's so talented. A lot of people she got, she got called up to the main roster, joined the Street Profits for like a week and then did nothing. Yeah, but did she win the NXT Women's Championship first? No. no. Exactly. So why, bring, so why bring it up? Exactly. It's, it's all a good, many good questions. She don't James, even go here. what did you have? Shayna. Ah, Shayna. Mick had Shayna as well. Yeah, Yeah. you had Ripley, didn't you, Farmer? Yeah. Who did Dick have? He had Shayna Shayna Baszler. So I believe Shayna is obviously the the winner and the runner-up is Rhea, according to the wrestling group and obviously according to this podcast too. Mm -hmm. (sighs) Mm-hmm. So I mean, obviously do something with her in 2021. Which what? One? I don't know. Uh, Ripley. Did you know see with Raquel Gonzalez? I think she's probably going to blow up. They're really high on Raquel Gonzalez. Apparently. Of course they are. <laughs> Vince is high on Because she's tall. She's going to do choke slams and power bumps. <laughs> She's going to be Keith Lee's tag team partner in the next match. Oh, oh, God. You know what they're going to do? They're going to swap entrance jackets and it's going to be really funny. <laughs> oh, do you ever remember? Quick segue, quickly. Do you ever remember when fucking Finn Balor done Bailey's entrance and Bailey done Finn Balor? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was brilliant. Really, yeah, yeah, that is yeah. one of the best things ever in NXT history. It's fucking superb. It's probably the best thing in NXT history, you know. <laughs> Cheek. No, we go like to number seven of match of the year. Big one. And we have the winner is a recent one of Walter versus Dragonov. And um, the run up is the best tag team ever, according to our own Joseph. Um Hangman and Omega versus the Young Bucks. Best tag match ever is what I said actually. Absolutely, <laughs> which it is, which Sorry, is why I went for that match of your four years. You said best tag team ever. Oh, big tag match ever! But yeah, to be fair, the Young Bucks are probably the best tag team ever. Oh my it's God, oh, incoming, incoming hell. slander! Oh. <laughs> you know what, man? Oh, oh, Hardys. Young Bucks are just a cooler version. Well, not cooler. Hardys are cooler, but Young Bucks are just a better version of the Hardy Boys. Hardy though, yeah. Dudley, Zed, and Christian. Dudley's Enough. bored me. Without tables, the Dudleys are nothing. That's all I'm saying. Oh, That's all I'm saying. Oh, oh, Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Yes. <laughs> Am I though? They are like to lose a member of the pod right now. <laughs> <laughs> all in favour of it being Joseph? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I created this thing. You can fuck off, Sangster. <laughs> You'll kill it. Over, you just had the loser shit. I'm saying they wouldn't be. I'm saying they'd shit without tables. You're not allowed to say people are shit because you know other tag teams. No, their Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> so go on. I went to Young Bucks versus Hangman and Omega. Ryan, what did you go for? <laughs> Me, I went for 
Don't uh, care, James. <laughs> Walter versus Dragunov. Yeah, Boss. that was a second for me. I still Should haven't be. seen that match. Man, it's 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 a slap fest. I still haven't got hard hitting fuck. Yet. Well, I haven't watched it, stupid. No, I'll keep meaning to watch it. It's the most New Japan match I've ever seen in WWE. It's fucking immense. And you know what? A shout out to David Anderson. Um, he's the one that put it up on the group and said, if you've not watched it, fucking watch it. Yeah. And I was like, hmm, should I? And then I sat there. I think it's Palmer it. that told me because he's the only person that watches NXT UK in oh, the world. You know what? <laughs> Get on it, man. Get on it. It's a fucking decent show so every other week. What did, with, what did you go with? Go on. Oh, and Hangman Page and Omega vs. the Bar. Yeah. So it's literally 50-50 between Walter yeah. vs. Dragonov. So I feel like if we had the singles match of the year, it'd be Walter vs. Dragonov. Yeah. And if we had the team, it'd be, yeah, superb. Two fantastic matches, if you haven't seen them. Nick Towers went for something different then. Go on, then. Go on. He went for the Stadium Stampede match. Ooh. Decent enough choice. Yeah, yeah, really fun to be fair. Enjoyable. Watching yeah. Sammy get chased with, by a gold cart was always a highlight of my year. Didn't well, he? And he got chased by a horse as well. Yeah. I think he ran one side of the field to the other, get chased by a horse, then back the other way by a golf cart. Who was it that got fucking suplexed all the way across the fucking Sammy. field? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was tremendous. But he didn't, he didn't really, though, did he? He got suplexed about six times. Oh, I know, but it was fucking brilliant watching that. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I love that. And, and, that, and that was in the match with the busted rib as well, wasn't he? Was he, yeah? Yeah. So, what was the what was the finish to that? Remind me, was it Kenny Omega dropping Sammy off? The, yeah, one wing yeah, danger off one wing through day. a big cardboard platform. <laughs> <laughs> K-fade. Onto crash mats. It wasn't cardboard. <laughs> cardboard onto crash mats. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I mean, that's a good shout again. You know what I mean? If you're going for yeah. AEW to the year, that's probably going to be right up there. Yeah. So we'll go with number six, which is most improved female of the year. So we've got the winner as Bailey, as she obviously was This facing. is where the debate is going to start, I think. Yeah, I think the f- debate will start here. But, you know, Bailey was faced, probably a bit boring. And then she turned heel. I mean, super heel turn coming out, fucking killing a wacky inflatable arm saving tube then. <laughs> um, and then we had the runner up as Kira Hogan. Really? That was really? Wow, that's really? Mm hmm. Oh my god. That was wrong. Carl Pickup spunked in the spot he did. <laughs> oh my god. Right, fair enough. People off. <laughs> she, uh, okay. She's not as green as she was, but I can, I can see that. I, I didn't think anyone would vote for her. Obviously, not really. somebody did. <laughs> didn't you add it, Palmer? <laughs> I think I did add it. Add her I, remember, well. I think I remember moaning at you for not using capital letters, I think. <laughs> 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 I was walking at the time or something, I don't know. <laughs> I went for something, I think I was the only person that voted for her. Well, I went for Penelope Ford. Penelope mm. Ford. Yeah. Because I yeah, think she... if you if you recall back to the start of twenty twenty, mm-hmm. Penelope Ford matches full of botches, really boring <clears> to watch. <throat> and then she had that high profile match with I think Hikaru Shida, was it? What what <clears throat> what did she do in twenty nineteen? Wasn't she just a manager? Yeah. So the idea was supposed I think, to be... I think she was a wrestler, but she was mainly Joe Janela's manager, as she is with Kip Sabian now. Supposed to be improved on from 19 to 20, not 20 January to well, 20. Well, it's, been a, it's been, a, it been a good wrestler, not an improvement on being a manager. Good wrestler is debatable. She's not a bad wrestler. <clears throat> bad debater. Hmm. <laughs> it was all in in 2019. What was that 2018? Uh, All 2018. Yeah, is it? No? 2018. 2018, yeah. I remember on that card, she's like some Matrix shit. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I went, for Penel- I went for Penelope Ford. Palmer? I went for Britt Baker. She's still shit. <clears throat> oh, dear. No, 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 no. <coughs> Sorry, is that? It was, it's kind of the same situation with Bailey. Same trajectory. 
as a face. She was I'd say Brooke Baker deserves it more than Bailey because all Bailey did was turn heel. Yeah, but I feel like Brooke Baker's fucking shit on the mic. No, Britt Baker, oh, Britt Baker's good on the mic. She just can't yeah. wrestle. Not that good on the mic. She's quite boring. Like a whole thing. Like her, her interviews with Tony Schiavone were just fucking shit. They were hilarious. Those <laughs> I, did, I did bits, find it funny man. when she was passing up notes to Tony Schiavone on commentary. <laughs> that was quite funny. Yeah, that part was quite funny. And but her character she... is just quite stale. It's just something we've seen before. She's a, she's Bad nasty. Dentist. And she's got a friend. But and she's, she's nasty. Dentist. Yeah, she's a dentist. <laughs> James, Second best wrestling dentist in history. I went for Raquel Gonzalez. That's a good yeah. shout, you know. Yeah. Cause I remember when uh, that take-up match between Kota Kai and Tegan Knox, when it was Raquel Gonzalez who cost Tegan the match, everyone was like, oh, I was Kota pissed Kai's got a, the Kota Kai's got a heavy now. Yay. But, but as the year me, went... And she's a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> but as the year's gone on, we started seeing a bit more, a bit more. She had a little few rear rip uh, about halfway through the year. It just kept building, building. They all culminated at War Games this year, where she had an absolute yeah, start sorry? making form. Yeah, War Games. There we go. War Games, you bastards. <laughs> <laughs> where, she well, star, where she had the star making performance she's having a little feed of Ripley yes. right now and about and pin the NXT to... Women's Champion yeah and she's probably going to be next in line for NXT Women's Championship match I think she, she might be Io Shirai as well she was awesome right now. I can't wait for this next award <laughs> but next, Nick, the, Nick the Twin Towers first of all he went what? for what? Bailey as well this surprise so next award is number five which Yay. is Joseph's favourite <laughs> as he's paid every fucking off to vote for him. But it's your money's in your pay I've PayPal you all the money, guys. <laughs> <laughs> most improved male wrestler of the year and the runner up was Roman Reigns. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, most sorry. Again. Sorry, Ryan, I think you must have cut out what was the winner there, sorry. Winner was <laughs> Yeah, no, sorry Ryan, you, you, I think there's a bad connection. <laughs> Buddy Murphy for <laughs> some Fucking unknown reason to mankind. Buddy Murphy it's not even the right answer. Is the winner. I don't fucking get it. I mean, you know, the the fuck him on the list. he might he might have then becoming a main storyline, but has he actually improved in 2019? I don't Bailey. think he fucking has. I don't think he, no, has. he hasn't. It's Bailey though, he was more he was than fucking Buddy Murphy. Has she though? Because you're saying all that Buddy Murphy's done has been in the storyline, but all Bailey's done is turned heel. But yet here, matches became most watched re- women's wrestling in WWE. Has Buddy Murphy's become most watched male wrestling in WWE? No, Roman Reigns has. Disgracefully not. Anyway, <laughs> as I've said, I don't even think that's the right answer. But I voted for Buddy Murphy because I wanted him to win. Uh, the right answer is Hangman Page. <laughs> oh, because oh, has Hangman improved much over from 2019? 2019, 2019, yes. No, really. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a megastar now. He spent he's most of his time. Other than like John Silver and Orange Cassidy, he's the most over. He's the most over person in that company. But he spent most of his time as a tag team. So, so, so Kenny, Kenny Omega. Yeah, but Kenny Omega's not most improved. Either. Yeah, but I'm saying, yeah, but does it, just because he's in a tag team doesn't mean he can't improve. I don't feel like a mate, uh, Hangman is any better off than what he was in twenty nineteen. In twenty nineteen, did you think Hangman yes. paid for the best match of the year voted in by the twen- in twenty nineteen? In twenty nineteen, yeah. Hangman went for the AEW World Championship. He was over as a singles competitor. In 2020, he mainly featured as a tag team. And then when he was in singles, he lost to Omega for his chance at another AEW World Championship. So can you say Hangman is the most improved? I think if this was this time last year, you could probably have a shout for Hangman. Nah, yeah, he's the mo- he's one of the most over people in that company. He's he's great. Oh, fine then, fucking Buddy Murphy wins then. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're arguing this. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, I don't give a shit. Buddy Murphy won. <laughs> <laughs> Next, hang on. Nick went for Drew McIntyre. I think it's either Drew Gulak or Drew McIntyre. Right. Um, but again, I think that's another Bailey situation in which he's just Palmer he's become the champion. Have you said yours? No, no, I yeah. went for Roman. For Roman yeah. Of course, fucking Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, hi, oh, Mark. Joe's not going to like this. I'll put Pat McAfee. Ooh. Good show, good show. Hang on, hang on, hang on. If I can't have Penelope Ford because she wasn't a wrestler in 2019, you can't have Pat McAfee either. Because he wasn't wrestling in 2019. He was, yeah. just not on NXT. Was. Mm, was he? He was, just not on NXT, I believe. Oh, okay. Might be wrong. Cage match. Google. <coughs> Pat McAfee. <laughs> How do you spell McAfee? M C A F. Is it double F or double E? Double E. There he is. Go for his bio. <laughs> I don't Shall imagine we? 2009. Current gimmick, Pat McAfee. Age, 33. Promotion, WWE. Brand, <laughs> NXT. Active role, singles, wrestler and colour commentator. He was a commentator. Huh? At one point. So he's had one commentary match that makes him a commentator. <laughs> well, he did actually have a match. He had he had one match in IWA's Coast. Scar, <laughs> Whatever that yeah, says. Yeah, so going from one match to fucking... But that was in 2009, lad. <laughs> and he's only had, anyway. he's had two matches in 2020 and no matches in 2019. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He's still in... He's still, still... he's still improved from what he was at the start of 2020. Yeah. I'd still vote him ahead of Body Murphy, but, you know, fuck it. You would, because you're, you're not in touch with your inner <laughs> self like I am. Buddy Murphy is the Chase Owens of WWE. Whoa. Ooh. Pew, pew. I can't pew. wait for Jay White to not win this double championship. Mate, I'm not even going to come on the podcast. <laughs> I'm going to be like, Palmer, with me. I don't want you anyway. <laughs> oh, Palmer's standby, isn't he? But, yeah. When you decide that you've got a KFC arriving. <laughs> oh, someone bought me a KFC. Right, Next. Anyway, <laughs> moving on to number four, we've gone with Company of the Year, and for this one, we decided to have um, WWE as only Raw and SmackDown, NXT on its own, as live on its own. Uh, the main reason why we've gone with this is because WWE as the main roster don't deserve the votes <laughs> for NXT because. Trim. In everyone's mind, they decide that NXT is separate to Raw and SmackDown. Like, you can be an NXT fan, doesn't mean you're a WWE fan. Yeah. So, we have the winner, obviously, is AEW. They they storm it. AEW went quite fucking far, and then the runner up was NXT. How many did Impact get? I think, I think Impact got one. But, (laughs) Carl, we'll go with AEW, the winner. Runner up NXT. Anyone got anything different? Rightly to so, to be fair. Yeah. There's only ever going to be two. There's only ever going to be potentially two winners, and that was, well, three. New Japan, which I don't think would have won anyway because no one watches it apparently. Um, or no AEW or NXT. Hey, I've got our pod done really fucking well. Yeah, I know. And it? it's like <laughs> our second most viewed video. Thanks for that, guys. By the way. It clearly shows that we don't have a lot of members of the wrestling group that listen to the podcast yeah. because fucking none of you say shit about New Japan, but every fucker listens to it. <laughs> yeah. It's on over 50 views, I think. Oh, uh, AEW 34, NXT 11, Impact 3, WWE 2, and New Japan 1. Ring of Honor? Uh, didn't get any, I don't think. Oh, oh wait, no, it, uh, no, it didn't. Uh, Pro Wrestling Noah got one. Who? <laughs> Pro Wrestling fucking Noah. And then somebody <laughs> added AE dash DUB, so AE dub in brackets, <laughs> is it even in question rather than just voting for AEW? <laughs> oh, uh, 205 that. Live got none, NWA <laughs> got none, Ring of Honor got none, ICW got none, and NXT UK surprisingly got none. <laughs> 205, was that on there? Yeah. Fucking hell, you put that on. You. <laughs> Shocking behaviour. Anyone opposed to AEW? No. I think everyone went with AEW. Nick went with AEW as well. James? Yeah, I went with AEW. Are you sure you don't want to select Impact Palmer? No, 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 no. AEW is the clear yeah. winner. So as as I know we don't we haven't been doing it, but obviously as a runner up, would everyone agree with NXT being number two? Yeah. 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 
Can't agree with Impact being number three, but no, no, I picked New Japan, Ring of Honor. I can't, yeah. I can't agree with WWE getting more votes than New Japan either. No, I think it'd go fucking. It'd have to go AEW, NXT, New Japan, Ring of Honor. Some lads are seen in the park the other day. That dickhead who does fucking Facebook videos where he jumps into barbed wire on his own. Pro wrestling it, Noah. <laughs> Who the fuck's Noah? <laughs> <laughs> that was added by Jackson Harrison, shout out. Jackson Harrison, give us a clue. Who the fuck is? <laughs> no, <he's laughs> <this>. Noah. <laughs> it's where a lot of the New Japan guys got their start, to be fair. Fair dude. Yeah, right. Kento was huge there, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, fucking Kenta. Now we is... get to the big three. The big three, top three, are we ready? We're going Best with Buddy Murphy match. Number <laughs> number three is <laughs> a disgrace. Oh, Next uh, number two, eat a dick. Win- winner yes. is Impact's own oh, yeah. the North. The right. North. <laughs> runner, there, runner up is AEW Tag Team Champions, the Young Bucks. Discuss. So number two, female wrestler. Ah, uh, wipe your tears, Joe. <laughs> this is this is <sighs> almost as big a disgrace as Will Ospreay only getting five votes. Read the room. Read. I told you they were going to fucking storm it. Uh, don't ever doubt me. Don't ever doubt it's me. It's ridiculous. Uh, and yet, this is the point I brought up. The North are apparently the best tag team of the year, and yet yes. no one voted for a North match on the best match of the year. I already Jesus. went through all this. I already yeah, went we did. I'm going to fucking go for it again. Which makes no sense to me. They're that good. They'd have a good match under their belts. They, they've got loads of good matches. You just haven't seen them. You just don't bother to watch the product. Nor is, nor is anyone, apparently, because no one voted for them. <sighs> again, we've gone through this. Yeah, time. Do, you know, do you know what? Like The North winning isn't a big thing to me because like, a lot of people have said, oh, the North would have been tag team. Like, myself, personally, I've seen about three of the matches, so I wouldn't vote for them as my favourite. I wouldn't say the shit. But I wouldn't vote for them as my favourite only because so, I've only seen matches. The North are better than Vader or worse than Vader? No, oh, better than Vader, at least than Fox Sleep through one of their matches. <laughs> I just, I've seen about, I think I've seen five or six, and that's about five or six more North matches than I needed to see. And they're oh. just. Yeah, I, wait, I can't wait till fucking 2021 Facebook Awards when fucking the North have turned up in AEW because the contracts are ran out. Oh, yeah. Him. And I'll be like, the North, the North, the North, the North. <laughs> fucking Come destroyed on. FTR, the Young Bucks, fucking proud and powerful, mm-hmm. the fucking longest reign AEW tag champions. And you'd be fucking sitting there pulling mm-hmm. your fucking end off going, I've always told you the North are good. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for them to join a faction with Bobby Roode as well. And they'll be called like the Glorious North. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Yes. And yeah. then what could happen is AC3 could could join that group. Yeah. <laughs> Hear me out. Hear me out. This is where it gets good. So AC3 joins the group yes. and they get called the Glorious North 1%. Come up with a bit of fucking uh, fantasy book and then we'll talk. <laughs> Any fucking better than Wipe that. your tears, Palmer. Come on, next. Female uh, wrestling. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not the one I'm crying, going. though. <laughs> How am I crying? I'm not the one James, that's crying. James, oh, the best tag team ever. In the best <laughs> match ever. All right. Okay. I'll put the North as well. Please. <laughs> the North. The North. Palmer. In a, it's fair. In a kayfabe logic, they should be tag team here because they're tag team champions for, for a year. whole fucking year. Yeah. Yeah, but it is. Why no one watches Impact? <laughs> Wait, wait, no, I mean, I'm not, not slagging them, but who did they face? Everyone on the, t- the, the Dinos. I remember the, the Rascals. rascals. Uh, I think that's probably one good match, because the Rascals are quite good. I remember they faced MCG and lost. Motor <laughs> City Guns? <laughs> um, MCMG, sorry. <laughs> Someone should actually make a tag team called Motor City Guns. Uh, they beat Rich One and Willie Mac. Rich One, shit, go on. <laughs> Rascals. Yeah, they're all right. Go on. Uh, right. Have to beat Gallows and Anderson? No, Gallows and Anderson beat them. Falabar and TJP. 
Fallon Who? Bar is one of the worst. He's some big Who? fat ass weirdo. Uh, the North, right? Hang on. The North of the tag team of the year. So, which actual tag team not thrown together? Fucking people. The actual the rascals. The rascals. Dude. Who else? Who else? Uh, uh, the Dinas. Uh, what? The, the Dinas. The Dina cousins, man. They inbred. They're Sounds cousins. Inbred. I think that's supposed to be the gimmick. I don't know. What the, <laughs> <laughs> they're like they're like hillbilly. Cletus and Canadian. Billy, they're the cousin fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's also Ken Shamrock and Sammy Callahan. Wait, no, no, no. Team thrown together. <laughs> I'm talking about tag team. Wait, like, I remember that match. Yeah, but Motor City that was so bad. Is a tag. Was that team. the match where Ken Shamrock just kept standing in the middle of the ring and didn't know what he was doing? <laughs> It could have been. It wasn't. Oh, quite that good. was awful. Shamrock match. <laughs> and also, one more team there was. It's a friends game team, but it was uh, Eddie Edwards and T- Tessa Blanchard. Oh, I think what we've established more here is that Impact have no tag teams. Yes. I agree. I'm sorry, but that's I why the think... North had the titles for a year. They probably named a lot. The North has just no other tag teams to give it to. <laughs> but they do now because they, they the their last match when. The, uh, the, the match they won the titles back was against Ace Austin and Manon Fulton and, and uh, Chris, the Mighty Street Machine Guns and the Good Brothers. Do you, do you know what? I didn't really care about the North winning this beforehand because, like I said, I've only seen about three of the matches, so I can't really comment. But you've literally named about two actual tag teams that they the faced. The fuckers and the rascals. The rest, <laughs> the rest have been thrown <laughs> together. So if you turn around and say the Uso is the best tag team in the world, who did they face? Um, Dolph Ziggler um, and Robert Roode. Um, in, you know, uh, 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 Finley and Hornswoggle. You know what I mean? It's a load of shit. <laughs> you can't say the both. One than... of us. One <laughs> of us. You can't say that. I mean... I Enough think... a better I mean, than the fucking Bucks. And oh, they know. Well, I won't go that far. Oh, they know. Yes. What North are. match this year has been better than the Young yeah. Bucks versus Just Hangman Page and Omega? Been loads. Oh, no. Name them. Yeah. Name them. Oh, can change it. and Falabar. Was that a good match? Yeah, it was excellent. Was it? Young, <laughs> yep. Young, Seven stars. Young that was. Bucks. Right, Young Bucks versus <laughs> fucking. What was it called? What are they called? Fucking H two. T H two. T H two. Fucking name a better match that the North had than that. Fuck me. <laughs> They faced literally a load of people. They've just gone, eh, do you want to be a tag team? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, you, like, never saw the D- you never saw them in- against the Dinas in the compound match. That was, that was, that was, it was a compound match. Yeah. Yeah. Where their cousins show up. <laughs> <laughs> Face Let's two. Just you know. move on and dry your tears. <laughs> Try it. Hang on, though. wait. I can't. I can't get over this. You turn around saying they're fucking amazing because they've been a tag team for over a fucking year or whatever. But they um, faced two real teams. Are you fucking mad? And you can't even. You can't even name the best North match of the year. I can, but I'm under what pressure, it? so I'm, I, feel, <laughs> I feel really bullied. So I'm not going to do it. I feel really. <laughs> Yeah, fuck off, JBL. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Try your tears, asshole, and move on to the next one. Um, okay. Let me point out. I won't quit. I won't actually. <laughs> After the, the, the matches he's had, um, they had, I am going to switch my answer to the Young Bucks now. <laughs> yes! 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 Come on, Young Bucks. <laughs> I thought they might have faced a bit more teams. Come on, Palmer. Come on, Palmer. Hey, it doesn't change, it. The, doesn't change the fucking <laughs> fact that the Facebook group. Fucking uh, uh, wipe their it? ass with the fucking because uh, yeah, you were for fucking so, yeah. decided to fucking pay everyone. Yeah, no, it's because they are a fucking decent tag team and burn them. According to that, don't farm us, it doesn't matter what they think. What do you think? I already told you what I think. I you thought. agree? You, is he not convinced? Nah, nah. You? Nope, stick it to my guns, boy. <laughs> stick it to my guns. <laughs> the North have not faced anyone. Like, fucking hell. Um, all right, sad. We'll move on because that was a fucking shocking decision. Um, we have <laughs> female wrestler of the year in at number two, with the winner being the ever so lovable Hill Bailey. 
and the runner-up being Io Shirai of... Yeah, um, he wasn't a... in the poll in the first place, which was quite insulting to Io Shirai, I think. Let's be honest, yeah, I think I probably put the poll up when I was on the shitter, so move on. <laughs> so what happened with the North one? <laughs> that whole poll was on the fucking shitter. Why are tears? Why are your tears? I went for Io Shirai. Sloppy Io really. Shirai, as Ryan Palmer would call her. She certainly is. Is she, though? Yes, she is. is. The old box. Is she worse than the North? She's worse than the young box. (laughs) (laughs) So, who went with with anything different than Bailey or Eo? I did. I went Bailey. Yeah. Palmer? No, I went for Bailey as well. That 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 figures. Nick? You went for Bailey. Yeah, there we go. So Bailey is gone. Did you go with Sanks out of interest? Bailey, of course. I went with Bailey. Ah, ah. She went from boring, no one cares. Oh, I love her. To be fair, I can't argue with Bailey, but I just think she's always been better. To be honest, I'll probably, I'll be honest. Like I've probably seen more Bailey matches than Eo this year. Eo is incredible. I'm not going to deny it. I'm just saying yeah. I've probably seen more of Bailey's, and I think main reason why I've seen more of Bailey's is because of her storyline with the yeah. heels. So that's why I'm going with Bailey. I, that, I can't that, argue with Bailey. She has had an incredible year. That match against Banks in the Hell in a Cell was fucking brilliant. Yeah. I'll tell you what, what you do want to go and find out, though, Sanks, is Shirai versus Charlotte versus Ripley. That was a good match. I think the NXT was... takeover in your house. Was that earlier in the year? Yeah. Yeah. Like, quite early. It's when Io Shirai won the title. <clears throat> I think I may have seen that. She would like a moon. She would either like a crossbody on the so. house or a moon sort of. Fuck off, Ryan. Right? Landed, on, sort of fucking, house. landed on Charlotte's head. or what None else? of them can take moon so that's hell. the problem. She can't fucking deliver them properly most of the time. Ow. She's that's known for a moon salt. It's fucking horrendous. It's lethal. Go watch she, some stardom. She fucking nearly cut off... Candice LeRae's head with a oh, uh, moon salt. Go this watch some stardom. It's <laughs> gone to shit. <laughs> this has been a shambles from the start. Right, so... <laughs> this num- is worse than the one where I called r- fucking Jimmy Havoc a nonce. Oh, what was that one? Say the number one question is nonce of the year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with... <laughs> a nonce. <laughs> Right, we'll ignore that. Scrap that. Someone edit this shit. Um, you know, we don't edit. Now leave that in. <laughs> Let's do this now <laughs> because this is short. I mean, if you are on Twitter, give us your votes for nonce of the year. Anyway, move on. <laughs> well, no, don't minute. do that. <laughs> I mean, I am, about, I am about three quarters of the way through a bottle of whiskey, but you know, ignore me. Number one is male wrestler. Of the year for 2020 with the winner as John fucking Moxley. And the runner up is Paul Heyman's best friend, Roman Reigns. I think you said Paul Heyman. (laughs) (laughs) Anyone got anything different than Moxley? Good shout. I've got Moxley. Nick has got Moxley as well. Moxley. Sangster. I'm going to have to say, as much as I love Osprey, Mox. He's been, enough. he's been the main reason I keep tuning in every fucking week to AEW. What do you do now then? Kenny Omega. What, what do you, what do you what, what's the reason to watch now? Kenny Omega. No, I mean, I keep, I keep watching it, but like... Um, you know, this to be honest with you, this week I haven't watched it all the way through. I'll be, I'll be I've honest. missed a fair few episodes, to be fair. Do you know what? I've missed half of episodes. I've never missed the full one. I've missed, I half- missed the one with, you know what? I missed the one with Kenny Omega versus Pack on it. What? Yeah. Do you know what? Do you know what? I keep kicking myself over and I'm going to do it as soon as we hang up this call. I keep kicking myself that I haven't watched fucking Pete Dunn versus Cal Riley on NXT this week. Oh, man. Oh, you've got to watch that. You have it's to watch that match as well. Is it better than the North <laughs> versus TJP and Fallon Park? Watch that match. Watch the 
Heritage Cup final match between A Kid and uh Bay. Bay. No, not well watch that one as well. Uh and what's Tyler Bates um tag team partner again? Trent Seven. What's, Trent Seven, <laughs> that match. That's how good the what? match was. Can't even remember who's in it. I've got a fucking bad memory sometimes. Um what? but that <laughs> those two matches and the Walter match and the Kyle O'Reilly versus Dunn match. Yeah. Those are fucking that. good matches. I'm kicking myself that I haven't watched that match yet. Um, oh, but I'll tell you what, I did watch this week, which was quite entertaining, was the Kenta match in New Japan Strong against, what's his name, Brody, Brody King. King. Yeah, that was, that is he was the one that was in Marty's Girls faction? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's also, he went for the briefcase for the IWGP US Championship match at and then two days later, he went for the Ring of Honor Championship, I believe, against Rush. Good. Is it, it? I think it's pronounced Roosh, isn't it? Yeah, it's Sorry, Ryan, but Roosh. Yeah, Roosh. fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Who is me? No, Roosh. Sneaky <laughs> bastards. Guys, <laughs> should spell his name correctly. He's gone down from 15 to 1. We've gone for our best things of 2020 in wrestling. If you agree, disagree, give us a comment. Let us know if there's anything that we have missed. Anyone that we've missed. If you don't... Leave your nonce of the year in the comments. (laughs) If you don't agree with our slandering of the North and the fact that they won... Then leave. (laughs) (laughs) Leave the group. Buddy Murphy should have won fuck all at all. Let us know. Other than that, it is plug, been, it plug socials. We, we yeah. don't talk about TLC yeah. at all? Oh, shit. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Um, what are the matches? Uh, there's only six, so I'll go in front of me. Only. Run right. through, Jay. War Tag Team Championship match. New Day versus the Hurt Business. Who I'm cares? Gonna go, I'm going to Hurt Business. Hurt New Day. Business. I'll go with the New Day. New Day. Smackdown Women's Championship with Sasha Banks winning against Carmella. Banks. Just to, just on this match, whoever it was that said that Carmella's only got anywhere because she's shagging Corey Graves, pipe down. Also, <laughs> I'm going with Carmella. I'm going with Sasha Banks. Yeah, new day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with the North. <laughs> mm, They're going to hold the Women's Championship for a for a year and then they're going to face no one and get voted as the best <laughs> women of the year oh. um, salty tears women's Such tag team championship tears. match Nia Jackson Shane versus Oscar and a TBD first who's a TBD Charlotte the yeah, new day <laughs> new day <laughs> could you imagine Oh, <laughs> Nia Oscar. Jackson, Shayna Baszler versus Asuka, Big E, Xavier Woods, and Kofi Kingston. <laughs> it's Mandy Rose, isn't it? Yeah, it's even Charlotte Mandy Rose. What? Charlotte, Charlotte Mandy Rose. But on Mandy Rose returned to save Asuka from Nia Jackson, Shayna Baszler. And I don't know why anyone's not thinking it's going to be her. I'm going for Oscar and Tessa or Lana. I'm going with Tamina to join Asuka. Blanchard. Well, that's fair. Lana is off TV for the rest of the year, apparently. She's probably pregnant. <laughs> She's probably got an AEW contract pendant. <laughs> I fucking hope not. <laughs> and um, for an improvement to it. And Kip Sabian. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone with Buddy Murphy. <laughs> There's a fucking surprise. Is his partner Chase fucking Owens? <laughs> To be fair, <laughs> Buddy Murphy would rule in New Japan. Yeah, he, yeah, he fucking steals Owens, half of yeah. fucking uh, Will Ospreay's moves. So yeah, he no, no, he doesn't. He fucking does. Yeah, he's he's, more, he's, he more, like Kenny, does. he's more like Kenny Omega he's than Will Ospreay. Later, he's, uh, he Buddy steals Murphy. both their moves. Buddy Murphy name one Will Ospreay yeah. moves he does. Oh, cheeky Nando's. Nando's. Cheeky Nando's kick. Fucking hell, he fucking steals all of his moves, man. That one move. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Name one move," and he did. What the fuck's the problem? Okay. <laughs> Name another one. <laughs> no, come he'd, on. What's he'd be the doing the fucking hidden blade next. Jeez. What's the next match? <laughs> oh, yeah. What's Firefly, the next match? Firefly Inferno match. Oh, the Fiend God. versus Randy Orton. Kane. 
Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, new day. <laughs> I'm going with Kane. Kane. It's Kane. I'm going with Sting. Sting. <laughs> it crossed the line again. Jesus Christ. Think... Could it be? <laughs> it is. It's Sting. <laughs> All honesty, I'm going William Regal. <laughs> I can say Will Ospreay. What's the next match? TLC match with no WWE versus Tamina and Jimmy Uso. Oh dear. Team Tamina versus what? Jimmy Uso. Did you <laughs> <know>? <laughs> I'm saying it's a North versus Tamina and Jimmy Uso. <laughs> oh fucking hell! God, I thought you actually said. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. Fair, a, I'd watch Tamina oh, versus hell. Jimmy Uso. Let's let's have James tell us the next match, please. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> t- tables, lads, and chairs match for the WWE Championship. I actually care about this match. Drew McIntyre versus AJ Styles. McIntyre. Wait, yeah, no, Styles. Do you know what? I wouldn't be, be surprised because that big tall lad's going to do something. He's going to like I'm, I'm be his own ladder. <laughs> AJ Styles going to climb him. I'm I wouldn't be surprised if the WWE title did change hands. Mm-hmm. But the shitty ratings at the vans. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're going to do something to make you watch next You show. count on AJ Styles to get you a good rating. I'm going to say the bodyguard climbs and wins it. Oh, James Ellsworth situation. I like it. Yeah. I'm going to have that all day. He's going to climb up, grab it, and throw it to AJ Styles. And be I like, think oh. AJ Styles is going to climb up the bodyguard and then grab the briefcase from there. I think Charles Robinson is <laughs> going to... <laughs> I think Drew McIntyre is going to put AJ in a sharpshooter. And then Earl Hebner's going to call for the bell and he didn't tap out. And then he'll win. That was and then Earl Hebner clear. has to climb up and then get the title <coughs> as well. Uh, Is this how yeah. much we really care about this fucking pay-per-view? Yep. <laughs> Bonus question. Will Miz cash in? Fucking no. Hope not. Yes. And, uh, so he's going to cash in all day on Sashi Banks. <laughs> 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 and then he's gonna fit. He's gonna... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's gonna form a tag team with Sasha Banks, and he's gonna be called the Awesome Bosses. Oh, no, and they're gonna be the best tag team ever. Yeah, yeah and they're gonna face like yeah. a load of makeshift tag teams Fuck for no off. reason. And they're gonna have oh. the best match, the best tag team match of all time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Don't against like Jimmy up. Uso and fucking Jinder Mahal or something. <laughs> I think it's about that time to wrap this up. We got one more match. <laughs> oh shit! Come on then. <laughs> one more match. One more match. One more match. Hurry it up! Stars and chess match for the Universal Championship: Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. Hey yo! We got Roman Reigns. Roman's not, 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 not dropping it. I think Roman's gonna win, but I'd rather KO win it. Me too. I mm-hmm. fucking love KO. It's popping NXT TakeOver. is one of the best yeah. in history. It's yeah. fucking superb. Absolute brilliant. And the fact that when he, he won the Universal Championship, he was like cowardly heel. Fucking annoyed the shit out of me. Yeah. Like he debuted as such a strong heel. Took out John Cena in his first fucking match on the main roster. And then he wins by a Triple H fucking handing him the fucking belt. Rob and, and Seth Rollins went in there at that point. What's that? What's that? I'd rather I would I would have rather that happened than Seth Rollins won that match. Yeah, but well, Seth Rollins wasn't in that match because <coughs> that's the like Universal Championship one. Yes, he that's was. That's why they had the match because no, Seth Rollins was. No, injured, Finn Balor got injured. Finn Balor was injured. Right. Okay. And then, oh, he, he, yes, he grabbed yeah, yeah, Kevin yeah. Owens in the pedigree, didn't he? Yes. Yes. Triple H pedigree. Seth Rollins. Yeah. And that KO pin. Yeah. Right. I'm with you. Yeah. But I, I still think that him being a chicken shit heel was the wrong way to go. But he's so good at being a chicken shit heel. No, he's good at being a monster heel, like fucking destroying John Cena in his debut. You know what? Yeah. Kevin Owens is good at anything he Yeah, does. he's good at everything. <laughs> Apart from the fucking stunner. Fuck off. Yeah, <laughs> stop using the stunner. More he's package so power worse. drivers. Pop-up powerbomb. Pop-up powerbomb is awesome. KO Especially when he, when he came back and started doing a sit-out pop-up powerbomb. That was even cooler. Oh, Stunner is like the North Wind Tag Team of the Year. Wipe those tears. Wipe them tears, lads. Bring the weep. Wrestling Group Podcast, if you're still with us. 
Let's wrap it up, motherfuckers. The what podcast? Wrap the time, wrestling folks. podcast. What's that? <laughs> Right, oh, plug your socials and shut the fuck up. <laughs> Facebook, the wrestling, fa- the wrestling group on Facebook, Hard Cam Podcast on Facebook, Twitter's Product Hard Cam Podcast or something. YouTube, if subscribe on YouTube, like the video, follow us on Podbean. Fuck off. <gasps> yeah, follow me on uh, Facebook and Twitter at your. Where am I going to go? <laughs> <laughs> follow me on Twitter on there. <laughs> Fuck the North. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> fuck underscore the North. Uh, underscore. Uh, fuck you all. Uh, fuck you. Uh, fuck you. My Twitter uh, is Buddy Murphy number four live. Bye bye, folks.